Hey guys, it's uh, Simon here from Soccer Training Central. Um, just put some slides together on some of the um, soccer formations that you might play as a team. Uh, look, it's not an exhaustive list, but it's really um, just to get you started, I suppose, on some of the more common uh, formations that you're um, that you might want to play. First of all, is the four four two is probably um, certainly by name uh, is probably the the most uh, well known formation. Um, and the numbers relate to uh, defence, midfield, and uh, and forwards. So in this instance, we're talking about four four in defence, four in the midfield, and two in the forwards. Um, so you'll know also let us notice that only adds up to ten. So it generally uh, doesn't include the uh, the keeper, obviously, because the, the keeper doesn't change. So just to take you through four four two. So in this instance, is where you have uh, four on the back. Uh, and as um, as I took you through with the, the video I did on the uh, positions that are available, the sweeper here um, behind the centre back, uh, yeah, their role is really to cover across all that um, defence. It's the last line of defence, so really to help try and clear up anything that might come through here. Really important as far as uh, their tactical ability. Um, now the other one I just wanted to talk about is the midfield. So you've got four in the midfield here. Now, there's two points I wanted to make. First of all, centre mid, um, whether you have them side by side or you've got one in front of each other. But this one here, this centre mid, their role is much more around uh, certainly uh, controlling the midfield, but they want to be pushing forward in more of an attacking role, if you like. Whereas uh, this centre, centre midfielder here is playing what they call more of a hold um, a holding role, if you can uh, excuse my uh, writing with the mouse here. So that's more of a holding role. So and their their job is really to try and control all of that sort of centre field and obviously working with the uh, with the back. So this one also works in the middle, um, but definitely more of an attacking player. Now with your um, with your wings here, so uh, again they're um, they're playing in the midfield here, but um, their role is really to push right up. So if you like, they've got to control that whole channel along there. So both as far as getting back in defence, and uh, but also pushing forward in attack, and it's the same over here on the right. So they've got to control this whole channel down here. So both pushing forward in attack and supporting, trying to put the ball in uh, and supporting the forwards, but also getting back in here um, to help defend. So that's the four-four-two. Uh, moving on next is uh, the formation is four-three-three. Three. So again, this is starting at the at the back. So we've got the uh, the four in the um, the four here in the defensive line, and then this time we've only got three in the midfield. So the uh, left mid, if you like, still playing that sort of wing role. They've got to push up. Uh, given we've got four at the back, they're still probably going to be uh, pushing a bit more sort of forward. Same on the right, but this time you've also got um, three forwards. So you've effectively, got a centre forward, a left centre forward, and a right centre forward. Um, so more of an, an attacking um, formation. Um, the next one is uh, a 4-2-4. Four, four. So this is the, the most yeah, offensive, if, if that is a word in the uh, soccer terms. Uh, certainly the most attacking formation that you can play. So we've got uh, four in the back here uh, once again. This time we've only got these two in the midfield. So, um, you know, in order to do that, these guys here obviously need to be extremely fit, but also they need to be very skillful because they've got to control that whole area. Um, so you need to have a lot of confidence in your midfield. And obviously the idea is that they can push the ball up uh, into these four forwards that you've got in here. Um, so it also requires that you can, between these six players, that you can maintain and hold possession um, but it does really, uh, it does really come down to how skillful these guys are here in the middle. No doubt about that. Um, the uh, the next formation is three five two. It's probably also um, next to the four four two. It's probably the most uh, most next common, if you like. Uh, so you'll notice here uh, this time we've only got three in the back. So there's no uh, sweeper here. So excuse me, we're relying on having these three uh, here in the in the middle and what we've done instead is we've got three in the center mid here so again this one's playing a bit more of a this center mid here is playing more of a, a holding role similar with this 
and this one at the front certainly being sort of pushing up a bit. Again, you've got your uh, your left mid um, and right mid. They've got to cover all of this in defence, but also in attack. Uh, and then you've just got your two centre forwards, but obviously the uh, the left and right mid uh, designed to sort of push right up. But um, this is quite um, normally it might also be sort of spread across here if you like. So if you think you've got five midfielders spread right across here, it's really around a uh, more of a defensive. Um, Pattern. So you want to control really about controlling that midfield, uh, but also having the ability that these two on the, on the left and right wings can also push up when needed. Uh, and the last one I'm going to take you through is a 3-6-1. Three, three, so um, this obviously is very busy in the middle. So you've got three in the back. This time we've actually got six in the middle. So um, the idea, if you're going to be playing this, uh, is really, uh, I suppose, really about holding uh, a lot of congestion through the middle of the field here. So very, very defensive. Um, and you've only got that one centre forward. So um, for my for my, uh, for my my liking, generally, it's uh, normally playing sort of a 4-4-2 or um, that previous one I just showed you, which was the 3-5-2. Um, certainly as far as the team that I'm sort of coaching at the moment, I'm starting with 4-4-2. I think it's it's easier for them to try and sort of understand um, the structures, if you like. Uh, but anyway, that's just a quick overview. There are there are other alternatives that you can play, but they're just some of the sort of the more common ones that you might find. Hopefully that was helpful. And um, yeah, just ch check out the website and see what else that we might have for you. All right, cheers.